Everything is so low effort these days. And I think that can be, in a lot of ways, a really, really great thing. But I think there should be a good, like, option for a high effort thing, you know? And I feel like it's possible to divorce this from social conservatism. Like, do I like the idea of, like, you're going to ask, like, you've asked a girl out, what are you going to do? Like, you take her to, like a, like, a jazz club and dance with her or something, and you wear, like, a suit to do so? Do I like that specifically? No. The suits are gay. But can you imagine, like, a, a culture of, like, higher effort social integration in some environment where, you know, like, or it's like the drag stuff, right? Isn't drag this to an extent? Like, you, when you have people perform in drag, like, that is often dancing, often performance that involves, like, incredibly intricate outfits. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess I should, I guess, like, the only thing that I'm trying to say is that while I personally don't put effort in that much, I do feel like it's cool to have social spaces where people are expected to put in more effort. Uh, I don't think I'm doing a good job explaining this. I'm too tired. But that's the point. It's not, it's not about the music itself. It's, it's about evoking the, you know, the cabarets and stuff. I guess what I mean is when I used to talk with my grandparents, you know, I'd get like the, you know, the whole, back in my day when you went out with a girl, you'd wear a, you know, a, a sweater vest and a tie and a shirt, you know, with the nice dress shoes. And like, I'd listen to this and roll my eyes. And I still do. But the thing that I do like is that there's an avenue that you can put in a little more effort and have expectations associated with that. I get, I, uh, how do I, okay, my preference for meeting people is meeting people off Tinder and like raw dogging them the hour after I meet them. That's me, okay? But I think it would be cool if it was possible to do something other than that, which was not about being sexually reserved, but was more about mutual peacocking, where people feel like there's a need to put in their best. Because oftentimes, casual is interpreted as, I don't have to put in any effort. Nobody puts in any effort to texting each other. Like, people are boring as fuck in conversation. A lot of people just want to hook up, and it's like, well, I've got a pussy, they've got a dick, like, fucking whatever, you know? Like, People put in low effort, they don't put effort or thought into the things they do, gifts they give, events they attend, locations they go to, any like, they don't make an effort to impress people, everything is just so casual, everyone just like, it's, because it's uncool and weird if somebody puts a lot of effort in. I've heard people talk about that, like if a person puts too much effort or thought into like a date or something, it comes off as off-putting. Again, I want to, I I want to be clear about it. Like, I'm not saying that I am just, like, waiting for the opportunity to, like, effortlessly court everyone that I fuck or whatever. I'm just saying, like, if there... I feel like it it, it should be it should be something you could do in either direction. You know what I mean? Like, you can, you can have, like, the super casual hookups or whatever, but it can also be socially acceptable for there to be avenues where... Because right now, the only places where people have that level of social expectation put on them are stiflingly conservative places, like a fucking church visit, you know? Like, that's the place where it's like, oh, you want to meet someone? Oh, yeah, let's go meet in church or whatever. It's like you're all wearing suits or whatever. It's like, oh, great, how sexy, you know? It's hardly like a jazz, um, like a, like a you know, a, a little, little jazz concert or whatever. Weddings? Yeah, well, weddings aren't really a reliable, um, what, actually, weddings are a rare example of this still being in, in place, if the wedding is cool. If you're, like, friends with the groom or the bride or both or whatever, you know, like, you, you show up in a zoot, yeah, you show up in your zoot suit, you know, um, and that, and a wedding is an environment where you can be expected to, like, dance it up and, like, you know, be on your Sunday best and, like, put in a lot of effort to impress everyone. Does anyone else feel like there, we should maybe... We should put in more effort to impress people. Maybe I'm just venting my personal problems here. But I feel like so often, um, I feel like so often people don't understand the difference between being casual and being like, like per perceptibly disinterested. There's a big difference between those things, you know? A person can be casual, but put in a lot of effort with being casual. And the effort is um, good. It's good to put effort into life and the things in it, you know? Um, yeah. Now I think this is a you thing. Maybe it is. I think we should I think we should be trying our best often. I think it's good to try your best, you know? I think that I think life is better when you're trying your best. Another thing that really bothers me is that I feel like oftentimes, especially when you've just recently met somebody, like you don't get their full personality. You get like the very basic, very like 
cut down version of their personality that they're like comfortable showing you at the beginning and you have to know them for a certain length of time before it opens up and the problem is like if you know a person fully every person is unique but if you've only known a person for a little bit i swear to god there are like 10 girls on tinder and that's it there are like 10 people on tinder who all have the that's the 10 personalities and they just look a little different you know now i blow past this because I don't have an introductory period. I am as aggressively autistic from the, from the word go as I will be 10 years in. Um, Berman can attest this because I just saw them in chat. I did not remember this, but apparently the first date that I ever had with Vermin, I was rambling about a video game idea that I had. Yeah. Um, like, I absolutely... And that's a deliberate choice on my part because when I realized that, like, in high school that I was kind of, like, socially different from other people... I had the choice either to like repress elements of my personality to make it more palatable or just lean into it and be just sort of confident about it. And I leaned really hard into the latter and I'm glad that I did. Um, but if nothing else, it means that any set of interactions with me, even if it's like first date material, will be interesting. But a lot of the fucking first dates I have, like people are so reserved and so I don't know if it's they're boring or they're like afraid of showing any effort because it would mean like more investment on their part but i feel like i don't know i feel like effort is cool and people are fucking boring if they're not putting in effort <laughs> everyone is because we got sushi and you said my eyebrows were geometric like it's a compliment i still think about that ha! True. look you guys get what i mean right i hope you do it's just a little bit sad when you meet people and they're not it's not even that they're not putting in their all it's like they're they're like afraid of the social consequences of putting in a little bit more just like a little teeny bit more effort, you know? Um, and again, I'm not saying I'm some kind of like amazing, you know, whatever. I'm just saying, I, I, you know, I think, yeah, some people have been hurt so badly. A lot of it, I don't think it's that, I don't think it's people being hurt badly. I think a lot of it is people being like insecure. A lot of people are insecure to be like direct with their personalities because they're afraid of being judged for them. And a lot, and let's be real, a lot of them are also like, kind of like pieces of shit who don't think the people that they're hooking up with are deserving of any like attention or effort or whatever. Listen, I'm not good at getting gifts. I'm not good at planning events or in fact, most anything in life. But if there's one thing that I'm good at, everyone in my life, you guys, everyone knows, I love talking. I'll never stop. I love talking. I never shut the fuck up. You hook up with me. I'll pick you up in my car. I will talk the entire way we drive to a thing. I will talk while waiting for the food. I will talk not through the food. I hate talking while eating. But once the food is done, I will re resume my talking. Uh, I will talk to. I will talk while we're undressing. I will talk while we're making out. I will talk while we're having sex. I will talk while we're in the shower. I will talk. I would not. So, and and by talking, I don't mean not letting them talk. I just mean like I will continue to engage in conversation, and it will be good conversation. I'm not asking you about the weather. I will. I will talk about fuck any literally fucking anything. I will talk about 40k lore. I, you think I haven't before? You tell me, Vosh, have you, in fact, recited 40k lore to a Tinder hookup uh, in the past? Obviously. Stu what are you, stupid? Yeah, of course. If you tell it good, it's a good story. Um, well, it's a million stories, really. But, um, you know, obviously. Um, and you can always find ways to play it in, you know? Always, always. Yeah, it's, it's good. 40k lore. No, I've never talked about 40k lore while having sex only just on the date but like that's what i that's where i put effort into you know what do people say like what your love what what is your love language my love language is english you fucking retard that's that's what i'm here for okay that's where i put my effort in i will engage you in conversation um you know uh but a lot of people i eh, just don't want to don't want to put in any effort it can get you know it can get a little, a little one-sided so you have no social filter then? No, it's it's not a lack of a social filter. It's more of um it's it's more of like, I guess more of a disregard for it is kind of the I think it's the difference between not having a filter and just like deciding to move the filter off, I guess. Um but also it's not it's not impossible to do stuff like this. Oftentimes doing stuff like this makes people like comfortable, you know? Um silence can be pretty disquieting for people who are insecure or who are awkward. Uh, for me, it is because I get bored. Um, so having a person who just talks relentlessly, as long as they're not talking over you, like, you know, c converses relentlessly, um, can be, um, has a date ever asked you to shut up? Nope. What's the difference between lore and canon? 
Lore refers to backstory. Canon refers to any element of a story that is accepted as official. Would you shut up if they asked? If a date asked me to shut up in those words, I would probably just end the date. But unless it's, like, done playfully. Like, if they were rude about it, like, that's super fucking rude. Like, it's, I'm just chatting about them with something I care about, and they're like, shut up? Like, fucking what? Like, if they did it in some cutesy way, or it was clearly, like, you know, you know d d deliberate, you know, uh, sort of playful behavior, then that could be fine, you know? Shouldn't be egotistical about it. Has a date tried but couldn't get a word in? Well, if that was the case, how could I know? I'm happy to hear other people talk. I don't mean that I keep talking in the sense that, like, um, I talk over them. It's just I don't let the conversation stop. Sometimes this is very easy to do, you know. Uh, sometimes it's not. Yeah, an unhinged rambling, yeah. What if they're trying to enjoy the movie, though? Ha! Ah. Uh, would you keep trying to talk to somebody who is busy? Busy doing what? Like, sucking my dick? We're on a date. What do you mean? Um, I don't talk at all in the theater. If I'm in the theater, I'm completely silent. I don't like talking at all when I'm watching stuff. Vermin, again, can attest. See? A testament. And Vermin loves shit talking to me, so you know they're telling the truth. I don't know if I would... I don't know if I... Have I ever just gone to a theater on a first date? I don't know if I would want to go to a theater on a first date unless it was, like... Unless you could, like, have your hand on their ass or something. Like, the whole time. Like, that just... I understand the point of a theater date is, like, you both have something to occupy your time at the beginning and then something to talk about afterwards, but, like, I don't know. A drive is the best. I unironically feel like just going on a drive can be one of the best first dates. It's just, like, a really weird... You know, also, like, you don't want to give the impression that you're a serial killer. Yeah, totally, Tempest, you know. Or a walk. Yeah, 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 depending on where you are, if there's, like, a good place to walk. Like, seriously, do a picnic. Depends on the weather. Also, again... Picnic first date, that is very high effort, you know? By, by the standard of, like, when you're meeting most people off Tinder, that is a very high effort first date, you know? Because it costs money. Picnics can be expensive because you have to get, like, food that's good for a picnic and stuff. Yeah, and a lot of stuff can go wrong as well. It can be, yeah, bugs, ants, whatever. My go-to is coffee and a walk. Coffee and a walk is good, yeah. There's, there's always, like, potential fuck-ups or whatever. Um, the main thing that I hate, I don't like going straight to a person's place, though. Actually... Uh, I think I think it can I think it can depend. You should never go straight to a person's place or like vice versa anyway for safety reasons to vibe check people beforehand. But yeah, you know, I never invite people over to my place because I have like landmines buried in the front yard. But going over to another person's place can be fine. I mean, I'm not really worried about. The last time I went straight over to another person's place was um it was a cool chick with a really good interior design sense as well. Straight to her place, first date, means she's definitely down to fuck. I mean, you should never really assume that, but, like, it's not unlikely. You know? That's, there is at least a, a stronger indication to, to that, to that point. How do you know it was her place? Does it smell like her? Alright, I'm tired.